Welcome to this session on modeling single line ductwork. Routing in the mechanical discipline is a fully dynamic process in which fittings such as transitions, elbows, and branches are automatically placed without exiting the place duct pipe tools. The preferences for these fittings, for instance a radius elbow versus a mitered elbow, are determined by the auto fitting preferences. So to shorten the time spent on preliminary routing of a system, there is an option to initially model ductwork in a single line mode. This can later be promoted to 3D. So the single line feature actually quickens creating systems without needing to change size or shape. It utilizes single click connections to outlets and vertical changes in elevations using AccuDraw, making modeling a system very easy. So let's select the round duct tool from the mechanical tab. The catalog item will default to duct round. Set the diameter to 18 inches or 450 millimeters. Then toggle on the single line mode option. The placement justification options are automatically void for the single line mode. You can set the part family option off, so when off, the active family and part is assigned to the ductwork. The active family and part for the ductwork should be duct supply new. For this initial ductwork, we will turn off orientation, size, and shape. Basically, you will size the ductwork later using the duct sizing tool. Set the base offset to 11 feet or 3,500 millimeters. This is enabled when a floor is selected in the floor manager as a reference plane. So it sets the z-axis distance between the elevation of the active floor and the center line elevation of the ductwork being placed, thereby allowing you to route the ductwork relative to the active floor. So working in the top view, you're going to zoom into the CC unit that was placed in the previous exercise. Set the active snap to key point. And in the top view, AccuSnap to the supply connection on the CC unit, basically at the top of the unit, and data point to accept the snap point. The free end of the duct is dynamically attached to the pointer. Move the cursor towards the waiting area, then press Enter to lock the AccuDraw axis. Move the cursor to the storage space on the opposite side of the waiting area, and data point to accept. A little tip here though, do not snap to the storage space. If you do, the duct end or cap will not get created. Reset or right click to complete the main duct route. The duct route appears in a single line presentation. Next, we will connect the diffusers to the main duct route. With the round duct still selected, turn on the orientation, size, and shape on the placement ribbon. These will be determined from the diffuser when selected. Snap to the diffuser in the women's toilet room and data point to accept. Select the main duct route, and a single line route is drawn from the diffuser to the main duct, finding the shortest path. The diffuser gets hooked up to the route with a vertical drop to the diffuser. Diffusers can be connected together and then routed to the main ductwork. Connect two of the diffusers. Then connect the route between the two diffusers to the main route. Connect the remaining two diffusers to the brim. Then repeat for the opposite side. The single line route is now ready for analysis or manipulation. In the next session, we will size the duct work for the system based on the single line model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. 
thank you and see you next time.